Jeff, and I want to take a little bit of time to talk about the Illustrator Premiere Pro workflow. While Premiere Pro handles Illustrator items beautifully, one of the things it does not do is handle Illustrator objects as vector text. And as I scale this up, you can just see that it's just not handling the vectors terribly well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to right click and say Edit Original, which will bring up Illustrator. Now, there are two actual problems here. One is, is that this text, uh, when I scale it up, won't scale terribly well. It's also in the wrong color mode. It's in CMYK. I just wanted you to see here the idea that if I go and I choose to scale this text up, while a lot of things are great here and it will scale up and look better, unfortunately, shift key down to constrain. When I save this and I come back to Premiere Pro, it scaled it up, but you can see it cut off the edges because the artboard or the area outside of this, this graphic here is not large enough to contain the text. Now we could here, I've switched back to Illustrator, we could just contain it, but it's probably a little bit better. Let's undo this. Let's save this. I'm going to switch back to Premiere Pro. You'll see it's been put back to normal. What we're going to do coming back to Illustrator is we're going to take our text here. We're going to select all. I'm going to go ahead and say select all, copy. And I'm going to go ahead to the file menu and choose to make a new item. Now, the new item I'm going to build is going to be one of the Illustrator built-in templates here. And I'm, I've got, they've got these beautiful templates, of course, for print, which is where Illustrator usually is used, or web. But I'm going to use it for film here in video. And I'm going to pick here a 720 size screen because I'm working in a 720 size sequence in Premiere Pro. Notice its color mode here is set to RGB, meaning that we're handling the color space correctly as opposed to print color space, which is CMYK. With all this set, I'm going to say OK. We get this beautiful window here. Let me just scale it back down. We get a beautiful window set. Let's fit this one screen. Set, and you can see that you've got Title and Action Safe here set for you, meaning that it'll be easy for you to know exactly where elements are going to come out. I'm going to paste this in. Wow, it's awful small. And at this point, I'll grab my text tool and scale everything up. Select all my text, maybe make it a much larger font. I think uh, about 100 would probably be a really nice size. At 100 point, we really can't see the edges because the text just has been cut off by the size of the text box. So I'm just grabbing the selection tool and making it wide enough to fit the screen. And that fits pretty well. I'm fairly happy with that. I'm going to go up here and say File Menu, Save. I'm going to put this on my desktop and Illustrator file is fine. Let's call it Title V2. We now can come back to Premiere Pro. Oh, we do have to say Illustrator Options here. We do have to say OK. I can now come over to Premiere Pro. And when I double click to import that text, this text will come in nice and clean. And the only thing I really need to do is replace it on the timeline. I'll notice it's selected in the bin. This is a real nice feature in Premiere Pro that I can right click and say replace with clip from bin. When I choose this, it'll just swap the two out and it looks nice and sharp. And the beautiful part here is it's been scaled up to the appropriate size and it's very sharp and readable. So that's the workflow between the two. It's a right click open an original. You want to stay in RGB space and you probably want to copy and paste stuff into a video preset that matches the size of your screen.